Good morning, I'm meteorologist Cheetah Craft. This is the latest update from the National Hurricane Center. Hurricane Milton, now a Category 4 hurricane with max sustained winds at 150 miles per hour. Now, the track has still stayed very consistent and the timing has still stayed about the same. Notice how Milton is expected to remain a Cat 4 today, tomorrow, and Wednesday, potentially weakening back to a Cat 3, which is still a major hurricane. Life threatening storm surge expected right along the west coast of Florida. We will probably see over the next 48 hours the track starting uh, to tighten up as far as exact location of where we're expecting landfall. But keep in mind, covers a really big part of the west coast of Florida. Different from Aline, after landfall, Milton is now expected to move back into the open waters of the Atlantic. So it's not expected to impact the entire east coast, but it is going to have major severe impacts across a big part of the state of Florida. Here locally, we have a front that's moving through. But again, this acts kind of like as a sweeping mechanism for most of the energy, the moisture just to the east of Texas. Here's Thursday 4 a.m. Notice this is about landfall. So it's looking overnight or potentially early morning hours Thursday morning as a major hurricane making landfall along the west coast of Florida and then moving back into the Atlantic. Watches and warnings. We have tropical storm warnings, hurricane watch that will be upgraded. But again, notice how it's a big part of the Florida coastline. So they are preparing for a life-threatening storm surge. Again, severe impacts from a major hurricane. And then take a look at the rain forecasted. Look how broad of an area of Florida that could potentially see five, seven, up to 10 inches of rain for most of this week. They are already starting to see some light rain. And then of course those impacts will just continue, continue to deteriorate, especially as we close in on Thursday. Here locally across the Southeast Texas, notice clear skies, low humidity over the next seven days.